<coughs> Excuse me. Yo. Time for spook time. Gonna go watch your buddy stream Doom Eternal. No worries. No worries. Um, you support your bro. That's what uh, that's what we're all here to do. If you're not supporting your bro, what are you doing? If you're not supporting your bro, well, he's down. He's down and his hands are bloodied. If you're not buying him toys when he needs them, what are you doing? Just a friendly bro job, that's it. Hey Edmund. Yeah, there's gonna be some there's gonna be some spooked happenings. Uh, I think. Uh, I made it to the sewers. Uh, which yeah, apparently if it's just a short ass game, it might not be that may not be that long to go. Uh, Halo Dudette, hey, thank you for the resub. 56 months, that's a lot of months. Thank you so much. You are, uh, you're, you're a Lawrence Select, that kind of runtime. Ooh. Thank you for purchasing the grenade launcher. This is a lore run, so you gotta read all the lore. What's up, Tree Fitty? About halfway done. Jeez, this is a short game. Wow. It's like an eight hour game if you do everything and go really slow. Mm, man. We made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. Handwritten note. Oh, okay. Mine rounds? Did I move or something? What do you mean? My webcam's in a different spot. <laughs> Spinners, if that's what you mean. What do you think is the reason for the mixed reviews of RE3? I mean, I, th I thought it was just runtime. I guess it's just really down to like... It it's interesting too, because it's not like game reviewers ever agreed on a rubric of the relative value of all the aspects of a video game, so... I could... Speaking out of pure ignorance... I could see some reviewers caring a lot that the game's super short and other reviewers not. I've also heard that the game's quality just sort of goes down the, the further you play it, so... The intro was, was real cool. Super, super cool, but if it uh, if it drops off a cliff at some point, that would that would make sense to me. Why it might get reviewed lowly. Or two is the superior game. Yeah. I mean Trey, they they had more time to make it. Ah I uh I was concerned about the just short short turnaround time for RE3. And if the game's just really Really short, that would make sense to me. Okay. Doing nightmare difficulty and it's brutal, yeah. This game is is pretty low in terms of volume, right? Seems rushed, they get rid of the randomness of the ne ne nemesis encounters. Yeah. I do remember hearing that uh, one of the bigger problems was that the game is strictly linear and that Making Nemesis not a spontaneous thing, making it more of a... Yeah, it's max. Weird. Game's a bit low. Yeah, it's... If there's one thing that I wish Windows 10 would do, it's volume level. Um, maybe something you could turn on or off, but... I don't care about the reasons why it's better, just giving an opinion. No, I, I think most people would agree that RE2 is probably the better package. But, uh... Eh. It's good enough, right? At least for me so far. Looking for a new anime to watch. What's your favorite or one you've been enjoying? Um, hold on, let me. Let me amp the volume here a smidge. I don't know how to make it loud. Wow, Gernzo, again. I was just thinking about you the other day. Like it's been a minute, it's been a while. That's not even an emote, man. It's not even an emote. It feels like it should have been a $40 DLC. Yeah. If there's one thing Capcom's good at doing, it's uh, making one product that sells really well, and then figuring out how to do a bunch of just like trickle on revenue grabs. No, no, it was something else, Mr. Ping is... Was, uh, or maybe it was the same person, who knows? Ugh. That's 
seems like a good volume. Like, yeah, one shotgun and one flame shell will do it. Seems like a pretty efficient way. I'm gonna juice up my headphones a little bit too. Yeah, Dr. Eleven, a long time ago. Um, the person, the most recent person has been around and I've actually seen them show up in, in Bruce's chat too. But, uh, really doesn't bear more acknowledgement than that, that's all. Yeah, no, sorry, Trey. Revenue grab was a bit strong. Um, but to me, it does it does seem to be following directly in the legacy of RE2 probably selling way more than I thought it would. Um, I, uh, yeah. Anana Martha, I agree. If you enjoy it and you find it worth the money, more power to you. I agree with that. I think, uh, it's, it's, that's why it's so weird to, for, in, for game reviews to be an intersection of, like, evaluation of the quality of a product plus evaluation of the worth of a product. Uh, it's not only how, how well is this made, but is it worth $60? I mean, to me, yeah. Resident Evil 3, before, sold for 60 bucks, <laughs> and it didn't look nearly this good or play this well. Um, it might have been a bit of a longer game, but... I, uh, I don't know, I'm one of those tools that, um, is kind of appreciative of the value and quality that we get for the money these days. Oh, you can remove batteries, can't you? Valorant tomorrow, Kappa? Oh, GRE3 was like six hours, so this game's five. Ah, that doesn't seem so bad in retrospect, does it? Think they're gonna remake RE4? I mean... They kind of already have, but yes, they'll probably do it again. I think uh, remakes are... Game companies are realizing that remakes are big big business and pretty easy money. Why did I hear that? I heard that alert, and I don't know why. There's no reason I should have heard that. That freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> uh, Girl, thank you for gifting a sub to Amkale. Amkale! Let's feel like it's been a long time. How you doing? Oh yeah, the branching paths, and apparently that's not in this game either. Um, Buoyant Boulder. Thank you for the resub. The re oh, the RE2 remake cut, out, cut content? Did it? I thought it was roughly the same amount of content. The thing is, too, like... It's not apples to apples, man. Like, a level asset from RE3, the original, is not the same as a level asset from this. In terms of, like, the effort invested to create it, in terms of the, uh... The fidelity of it... Like, all things considered, if you... If you put... Equal games with equal run times next to each other, and one's in 320 by 240 with pre-rendered backgrounds, and the other one's full 3D with lighting and, and audio and all this stuff. It really doesn't seem like it's fair to just put the two right next to each other and be like, yep, they're the same. How do you feel about the crazy story changes number I made to seven? Uh, I haven't gotten far enough to, to see all of those yet, so I don't really have an opinion. Um... I will say that I don't really revere Final Fantasy VII's story. I think story was one of the weaker parts of Final Fantasy VII. It actually has a pretty plot hole ridden, pretty poorly told story. It's just, it's got a twist that kind of really thought people, made people think it was better than it was, but... I did get a review copy, yeah, uh, Woman's Earth. So I'll be streaming it this Thursday. Um, Vitellio? Vitellio? Thank you for the Prime sub. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. Did you? So he's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Yeah, uh, Packers, I, I tend to agree. The best thing about Seven is the music. Um, that was true with a lot of Final Fantasy games. I think... I really... I think a lot of the, uh... A lot of the emotions that people feel from older Final Fantasy games is cued in by the soundtrack. 
And I think to a large degree, people probably didn't really understand or really attribute properly where all their their warm feelings and, and gamer memories came from. Yeah, Final Fantasy IX was the first Final Fantasy that had a really solid writing. You know it can. I mean, 8 was like the first one Nomura wrote top to bottom, and it's filled with plot holes and switching villains and characters that just kind of change motivations at, at a whim. I'm talking about 7 Remake leaks? Not leaks, I've been playing it. I have a review copy. And embargo's up so I can I can say things, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they already made Resident Evil 1 as a remake. That already happened. Yeah, so toasty. It just had really good. Oh, right. I oh, seen stars. Yay! I guess this is just a run down a hallway sequence. Am I already out of the sewers? That's it. That was fast. Would you say is the best Final Fantasy story? Probably the the most the most well written and most interesting story is probably twelve, but it suffers from more direct storytelling problems. Like it it doesn't have a really strong protagonist. It doesn't have a really strong antagonist. Um, yeah, Kaylee, I would say Shadowbringers is probably actually the best uh, Final Fantasy narrative. Because um, it doesn't have those problems. It, it's it got a... Uh, Shadowbringers has a good protagonist. It's got a strong antagonist. Um, isn't 12 just Star Wars? I mean... Yeah? But so is every narrative if you want to really break it down. Um, and I would say, like, character-wise, character, character -wise, 6 is super, super strong. The problem with 6 is that it was on a Super Nintendo, so they just didn't really have the space for all the text I think they needed to really get into all the characters, but 6 leaves a lot for your imagination to fill in the gaps, and it's it's really good. Tactics was also super good, if you mean War of the Lions. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if you consider that a main a mainline game. Most, most of what works in Final Fantasy is the art style, the music, and then just the super basic beats of the story. Uh, notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to the ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof for safekeeping. Huh. Entry to the premises is prohibited until the current un unrest is subsided. All employees are to stay at home and await further instructions. Well, okay. I'm gonna get some real, real gamer sleep. Yeah. Gamer it up. See you, Corey, inside. Or is it Corey's inside? <clears throat> the real answer to the best Final Fantasy is still nine. No <laughs> matter what Lawrence says. Just said about the other ones. <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm okay with nine. I'll give it a pass. Nine actually has a, a decent, like, and shot, somewhat believable uh, romance, I think, too. I was, I was surprised with what they did there. I probably should have brought my pistol. You got me. Getting singed. Yes. <clears throat> Laguna was kind of more the protagonist of 8. He was much more likable, for sure. Which is fine. It, it, I mean, at least 8 did have Squall kind of changing as a character a little bit. But yeah, I mean, I'm glad that they, I'm glad that they they did something with the the story of Seven. I don't know that that uh, like Seven Seven story as presented in Seven 
I wouldn't say is worth... Like, you you have to brush it up because there was... Uh, there was a lot kind of... Um, left omitted, either through bad writing or just through translation. Oh, shit. Translation problems? I will say the remake actually does a pretty good job of of uh, exploring the the potential of a bunch of sevens beats and really drawing out what was there. That has been my experience so far. I think a ten. I don't really care for ten at all. Ten was the one of the first video or one of the first Final Fantasies that Nomura straight up wrote front to back, and I think it really shows in how, like, what's the word? How completely not grounded a lot of the beats are? Ow. So much of that game is, like, it's sad because because this is what happens in this world. Isn't, isn't it tragic? But they don't do any explaining of why that's the case, and it doesn't create a believable world. At least for me, it doesn't. Um, for me, 10 was, it was very Kingdom Hearts writing, which is like, oh, it's so tragic that these characters are in this situation. But they're only in that situation because you just said they were. Like, that doesn't... That doesn't work. At least not for me. Ten did have amazing music and really good artwork, but... Ah. Yeah, the English dub fails to give the character's personality. Man. Oh. Are you still kicking? We're still doing this? Alright. You get iframes and rolling? A very, very small amount, it seems like. Hmm. It seems pretty linear so far. I mean, all the Final Fantasies are extremely linear. Um, that's just a thing. That's always been a thing. It's... It's just kind of what they are, you know? You just, you, you, you start the story and you plug through it a little bit at a time. Um, the rare moments that a Final Fantasy is non-linear when they just dump you into the world and let you kind of do stuff. But if you really, if you really look at it, you can only do like two or three things before they gate you back into the linear progression of the story. Those perfect dodges, you aim right. When you see the flash, you go slow-mo and you aim at the crit spot. I mean, I don't... What's the crit spot? I'm aware that you can, like... You can pull... Pull the gun and, like, get slow-mo time or bullet time, but... I think... Does it... Does, like, a crit spot glow or something? Oh, right. I can't. All right, maybe I can. Ow. Damn it! Great. Backed into a corner. Stop it! I actually didn't do anything. Chest, actually, but auto-aim goes for his head. Well, that's useful. Ow. 
human crit spot is in the butt. We all know this. Stop it. Ow! Crap. Wow, really? Went from fine to dead? I'm I keep looking at uh I keep looking at chat. I gotta I gotta get into video games mode. But you know what you're thinking, aren't you always in video games mode? Yes. That's it. Use blood punch to stagger him. Now those are the tips we need. Honest to God boss fight. How exciting. Oh, we're gonna do it though. This is gonna be the one. I got enough of, uh... I got enough of scouting him, that's it. Just had to scout him, that's all. Hold on. That's what we want. Okay. We should probably save the environmental stuff until phase two. Don't look at me looking at chat again. No, oh, this is it. First try. Hold that up, inspect it. Gotta make sure you see what's going on there. Doing that walk. You know that walk. And your mom knows that you've been up to no good. She's stomping over to you at the mall. hit the thing. Wow, I keep I keep over aiming. Every time I see it going up, I think it's gonna keep going up, and then I try to track it and it doesn't work. Oh shit. I didn't see any any coming over that far, but clearly they did. There we go. So mad. So very mad. Still kicking? Sounds like it. Well, he, he one-shot you if he gets you with that lunge? It seems like it. Hmm, still doing fine. Dang it, I keep one a shotgun. Ah, that was stupid. Get up! Okay. Oh, is that it? He didn't drop a crate this time. Not cool. Let's 
split hair. Yes, this is on hardcore. On you. Oh. This mic like it's turning itself. It's weird when there are like joints in a mic that you can't really articulate. You miss this damn. I'm sure he's dead. I'm sure he's dead for good. Turn that more this way. Do Seven have chocobos and moogles? Yes. It would hardly be a Final Fantasy game if it didn't. It's Jill. Do you read me? Stop storing your weed in your microphone. Where else? Am I gotta put it somewhere where it's by me at all times. Okay. Just in case of a weed emergency. What were you thinking? In case of sudden non-chronic sobriety. Don't start. Does it have fat chocobos? Trey? Yes, it does. <clears throat> Yeah, Final Fantasy 1 just has the prelude, and I guess the classes, the jobs. Does Aerith swear? I don't think she says swears. She's too pure for that. If there's one thing the 7 Remake does that I know a lot of people will like, but also honestly makes me a little uneasy, is they sure do lean into like the virtual girlfriend shit with Tifa and Aerith a little too much sometimes. That's also just kind of an, an anime thing, but man... I know that there are some some lonely boys who have who have been in digital digital relationships with these ladies for a long time and they're going to be happy and probably feel more lonely. Example, uh, there's just first person shots of of Tifa and Aerith like coming towards the camera and being cute. It's it's really just the first person camera stuff where it's like very obvious they knew they knew what people were coming coming to this game for and wanted to give them give them up give us lonely boys a break it's fine it's fine it just well that's kind of an interesting way to do huh yeah the uh the like the light effects is getting painted over this character model they reduced the boobage not really dr 11 um and Tifa's fighting outfit, if you're referring to her cup size, her fighting outfit does look like it's been sports brought up a little bit, but I don't know if this is spoiling too much, but when she's in her, like, Don Corneo outfit, Christ, that girl has got some... She got some boobs. She is she is still a very buxom woman. Don't, don't worry about that. Um... I mean, I mean, I don't know how you can compare it to her her chest being five polygons completely, but um, some back issues. You would think, yeah, yeah, for her proportions. I mean, she's a sporty girl. She she probably has a good good musculature to support support those honkers. But damn, damn. Also, like it's just like they made them both perfect. Basically, <laughs> they gave them like really breathy voices, and they're always like so comforting and nurturing they're like they're the total mom archetype that is always held up as like the perfect anime girl um and there's oh hey it's the gun shop made it can't wait for yuffie yeah <sighs> perfect woman hate that shit in japanese games oh baby oh baby is it is it in uh oh, you can't lock pick that one yeah i'm on marth Tifa is actually a really cool character. Um, Aerith is a little less interesting just because she's she is the perfect virginal anime girl. Um, but yeah, I like Tifa a lot. Um, I do wish that they would give... Sometimes I wish that they would give anime girls some kind of negative character trait. Instead of... Yeah, she's Aerith. She's absolutely Aerith. They, they give her a little bit more... A little bit more color, but she's still perfect. Like, immaculately pure and perfect all the time. Uh, Cat Monarchy, thank you for the Prime sub. Oh, and Blanco Gringo, sorry, I, I think I missed that. I am, uh, 
I am certainly a Blanco Gringo myself. So, thoughts on the Advent Children movie? Uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, Jesse is awesome. Like, Jesse is actually probably the most charming out of the three, which is great. Uh, I pick, I, wait, I'm trying to remember the dilly dally shilly shally line. When did she say that? Because I don't remember if I've gotten to that point or not yet. Um, in my playthrough I just did the Don Corneo stuff, so that was last night. I was trying to grind through it to get it done, to have a, a YouTube review ready, but I kind of give up on that. So what I'm going to do is just not play it until this Thursday, when um, their asses could be bigger. Yeah, well, it's Japan, you know. Uh, for some reason, Nintendo is the only Japanese company that has figured out about Donk um, and put it in Splatoon, of all things. I guess, you know, I guess the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 ladies had a, had a little junk, a little juice. But Advent Children, sorry, I keep I keep missing that. I actually really like that movie. I did, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of tonal notes from Advent Children that are in Seven, namely like the the ridiculous oh arms yes you, I forgot arms has got some ass, which is a weird thing to say. Uh, yeah, you're Medi, you're correct, Medi. Um, Japan has been making giant strides in in assology. They've been, they've been, it's been getting, it's been getting good. Very little to complain about in that regard. But, uh, Zelda's got a fatty. Yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty thick. Do you not have to put a review up when you get early access? No, well, so that, that's the, that's the kind of the invisible trade is that you get early access with the implicit promise that you will put out coverage and stuff. And I'll do, uh, I'll do streams and I'll probably do a YouTube video eventually, but I don't know. I'm kind of... Hitting, hitting embargo requires a big sacrifice in other areas of my content creation. Namely that it requires me to be off, off stream for like 40 hours to play a single player game. And then another 5 to, to 8 hours to record and edit a review. That's a lot of time um, spent making a piece of content that goes on YouTube and earns 100 bucks on a good day. So it's just, it's it's really not something I feel like I can fit into my content production schedule. I'm sorry if you guys, a lot of you guys were around to hear me kind of walk through it before. I'm still, I'm still sort of wrapping my mind around it. Uh, so I apologize if I'm, if I'm repeating myself to uh, an annoying degree. Seven Remastered is not the full game, right? Is it episodic? It is not the full, the full run of Seven, no. But they add so much detail to... The Midgar section of the game that it, it it does feel like a full narrative experience. That said, I haven't beaten it, so I don't. Ah, I missed an item back there, and I can't go back. I haven't beaten it, so I can't comment on the uh, the satisfaction of its conclusion. Or uh, there is a pretty big plot addition that I don't know the significance of yet. So that might be that. Uh, do you ever feel obligated to always be streaming when you're playing something now? Like you can't just play games just to play games. Uh. It's a, sh it's a thought that crosses my mind, certainly. If I'm, like, playing games off stream or something, I'm like, well, I could just be streaming this and, uh, growing, growing my Twitch clout and hanging out with people. Uh, explosive... Wait. I'm supposed to be make acid rounds. Flame rounds? Do I want flame rounds? Um, mostly it's just balancing... Ooh! Mostly it's just balancing doing this and then spending time with Stephanie. There it is. Now it's... Now it's taking up all the goddamn space. Oh. I need an item box. I guess I should have assumed that there would be items to pick up inside the gun store. Gosh. Gunpowder. Um, I'm enjoying, uh... Oh, hello, G Fuel uh, Energy. Shit, chill. Kendo. I am enjoying the remaster quite a bit. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Oh, there's an item box near here. What to expect? No shit. Hmm? Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You win. Subway. Well. Uh, is big. seven remaster worth the sixty dollar price tag? When we get out, there's gonna be. Um, peak. Here. There's. You can use a man of your skills. It's. It, there's never a way to answer that for everyone, no matter what. But. Just, uh, if you like seven, I mean, the answer is yes. It is. It is far too reverent. Of its source material Look, uh, to not be worth it if you have that nostalgia and that connection. You better. If you never played it or didn't like Seven, then it's it's harder to say. So I don't know if that t gives you your answer or not. 
<laughs> take care, Jill. So interesting to hear you talk about the process of content creation. I always take for granted how much work it is. It's it's not so much that it's a lot of work, to be honest. It's just it requires an amount of thought into how you spend your time and what you spend it on. That's all. The campaign is relatively quick, but nostalgia is solid. Oh, you played it? I'm uh yeah, I'm about twenty hours in, and I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna start over and play through it on stream. But uh I feel like that's the Solid move here. I think seven needing near 100 gigabytes of memory, a good take. Good take. That's not a take, that's just a fact. So, I don't know that there's a take involved or anything to pass judgment on. Um, I can... I can understand why it might need that much. Um, Mostly due to, to optimization of content and loading and stuff. Um, I think... I think having an opinion about the install size of a game is a little silly. Um, I guess if you have to download the whole thing, you have to wait for it to arrive, but... The PlayStation 4 is an old console. So keep that in mind. Um, and I, I would wager that a large portion of that install size is duplicated content just to make streaming texture data a little more efficient. That That is what it feels like to me, because uh, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of moving through tiny, not tiny like crawl spaces and, and moving like hand over hand through like narrow passageways just so the PS4 can stream in and out uh, texture data. At least that's my, that's my presumption. So, I, I can only assume that uh, the the bloated install size is due to yeah PS uh, God of War treatment um, a little more excessive than God of War uh, but yeah playing on a pro or a standard it's on a pro but uh, yeah to do open world stuff and to to be able to stream data like that I feel like you got to duplicate a lot of data so the hard drive can keep up. Yeah, Bubek, that's that's something that, that a lot of games are kind of touting going the next gen, is that you won't have to, uh... Oh, you can't come back here, can you? Hey, I played a Survivor Story of that guy. Um, you won't have to do that as much, because you can just stream data from anywhere on the drive. Seven is dense as Witcher 3. No, not even a little bit. It's not open world. Um, it's really not. It is sometimes open area... But seven, like seven before you get out of Midgar is not open world either. It's actually pretty rigidly linear. So keep that in mind. Um, they did add you'll you'll play linearly through linear levels. Um, some of them are have branching paths, but they're largely pretty linear areas. Um, Fallen Order is still more open than seven. Seven is like a series of hallways, and sometimes they'll let you run around in a lot of those hallways cross together. Um, you'll come into like urban centers where you can do side quests for people uh, But it is not Witcher where you can go around and pick up like 30 quests in any of these like open areas You can do like two or three side quests and those those can take some time They are they they run the gamut of look. I'm just I'm just reviewing the game now uh, Can't wait for linear gameplay will finally die solo samurai. How dare you? Do you believe that non-linear gameplay is always better? Because I bet you like a lot of linear games. It's not a it's not a pejorative, and I actually got really annoyed for a long time because games journalists were always like, "It's linear, therefore it's bad." Every game was linear for a long time. I didn't make them bad. Yeah, Doom Eternal's linear. Just having an open world doesn't make a game good. Well, oh, these boys. I never actually fought these. That said, if you don't like it, then uh, then that's fine. I can see why preferring to explore an open world is, is good. I like freedom, but don't play a video game. <laughs> video games are the least free thing in the world. Open up. Ah. I don't like this guy. I think Bioware can redeem themselves. Uh, 
I don't know. I think Bioware might be too far gone. Damn it. Ooh. How do you make him? How do you make him open a stupid little butt face? Linearity can be done well. Yeah. Bioshock's linear. I guess. I guess maybe that's that's open to debate because you can still go back to other areas. There just often isn't a reason to do so. Man, these headcrabs got reach. Open your damn face up, dude! What is this about? Oh yeah, Exodus was kind of interesting. It has open areas, not necessarily open world. What the? How do you get him to open a stupid face? Did it very bright? I like Kingdom of Amalur? No, a lot of people did. Shit, man, this guy's fucking me up. Shoot the back of the head? How do you see the back of his head? I pushed Humpty. Thanks for the prime sub. Okay, I guess he's I guess he's cruising. Nope, he turned. What? Open world stuff is massively overdone. Give me a tight, well plotted story. Yeah. People do seem to, by and large, be be burning out of fuck. On uh, does it open up briefly when it attacks? No. It seems to open up when I'm not looking at it. Yeah, you're, Disco Joe, you're exactly right. That was a that was a dark time, late 2000s, early 2010s, when linear was just basically a, a dirty word in gaming. It's also when like having a, a good or bad meter was the height of like of uh, of game development. If there was a meter that went one way when you did bad things and the other way when you did good things, I was like, mm, this is a good game. That was such a thing for a hot minute. Just shoot her to run away. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to learn how to kill those things eventually. Can you just shoot it until it's dead, or do you have to uh, do you have to hit it in its glowing spot? Yeah, Fable. I mean, Fable was fun, but yeah, Fable did kind of kick that whole thing off. Binary moral choice. Anyway, ah, and here we go. All right. Shoot it. Shoot it until it dies, I guess. Anyway, yeah. Game's cool. Uh, <laughs> I really like it. If you liked 7, you'll probably really like it. I guess the big question mark for me is the combat system. It's not turn-based. It's, in fact, probably the most opposite of turn-based it can get. <laughs> it's, it's very not turn-based. So I wonder how people will react to... The statistical complexity of a Japanese RPG combat system at its at its most intense. Dear editor, I am writing to you because I am troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a downtown trip on Saturdays, and there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However. I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that dreath trap down. By Timothy Wiles, age 69. Nice! My boy Tim, watching out for the kids. Oh, I just saw a hot tip about the parasite zombie. Hold on. Finding the parasite zombie, if you don't have the shotgun, you gotta eat creative. Oh. How do you make him, how do you make him open up his little face butthole? You interested in Elden Ring? Of course. I am interested in Elden Ring the exact same amount I would be interested in any game from From Software. So, 
I mean, there's, there's, what, we have like one piece of key art and a title and that's it. So. Sudden mystery. Unnerving combat. They killed him. Living well. Murder in Cleveland. Interesting stack. Fearless betrayal. Dodge. Huh. Oh, the Tales stories? They never go full bizarre. I guess you're right. Yeah, they uh, they they play it pretty, pretty safe into the anime vest. You never really fight God in those things. The parasite zombies, you basically want to shoot it in the body until it staggers around and opens up the glowy spot. Okay, shoot him in the leg, and the face will open up. Then face shoot him. Got you. Thank you guys. He's back, and he's got a rocket launcher. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, those are some pretty big I live bitch vibes. Jill is just getting thrashed today. Oh, I missed a, I missed a, a couple of subs. Sorry about that. Cat Monarchy, Triffin Wampa, and I pushed Humpty. That's a good name. Thank you guys for the prime subs. Oh. God bless Capcom's flair for the theatric. They're like outdoing Square. That used to be such a Square thing. Gotta lead those shots, brother. Yeah. I'm giving him those hot jukes. Ha ha! Big serpentine moves. I'm going back up more scaffolding. Sure. Does that actually... No, okay. Oh, cinematic rockets remind you of Metal Gear Solid 1. Or like in uh, Twin Snakes, when Snake does like a fucking backflip off of a rocket. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or just splitting, jeez. Oh, was that Ryu Ryute Kitamura? That was the choreographer? You there? I think I know Has viewership increased since the quarantine and lockdowns? Yes, actually. And lead him right Un to undeniably, you. yes. Trust me. Hey, I remember an ad for you in the subway. It sounded delicious and I'm back. Oh wait, no, this is actually like, I'm just back here. Wow, okay. Yeah, they really, uh... Man, they really couldn't make that many assets, huh? No! You knocked the last two screws off. I guess I didn't make it. Who is Mila Jovovich's character in the RE movies? Alice. A non-canon character. Oh, Amgram. Thank you for the uh thank you for the resub. I'm longing to visit Mount St. Butt. I gotta make it better. I gotta make it better. It's embarrassing right now. Like I don't even I don't even have like my second upgrade of my house done. It's uh it's really sad, so. What? Oh, I guess I have to go around that. Never mind. <sighs> What's better? Uh, does Jill have boob physics? I think a little bit, but you're staring at her back most of the time. I don't know that I've ever really, really examined, examined the nature of Jill's jiggle. Yeah, I guess you have to go around the corner. Also, lest, lest y'all remember, the sequence in Resident Evil 4 
where, one, Leon had to sprint away from a giant boulder exactly Indiana Jones style. And two, Leon had to sprint away from a giant stomping little Lord Flaunter... Fault... 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 Leroy? Napoleonic mech... Mecha? Piloted by that tiny little man? Remember that? Remember that? We all remember that. Ow! Crap. Stodge! I was hammering the in inventory button and it wouldn't let me... Alright. Did you like Resident Evil 7? I did. Comic book. I, lo I loved 7. I thought 7 was an amazing return to form. RE4 is amazing, yeah. Featuring sh such writing as, No, you're small time. <laughs> and then the bad guy's like, Oh, oh, like he just got mega burned. Because Leon dropped like a third grade insult on him. Oh man, so good. I thought I had time. I thought I had time. Yeah, Chris punches boulders. Resident, e Resident Evil has a lot of stellar, stellar sequences. I appreciate times when, like, clearly s someone probably should have spoken up and been like, Yo, this doesn't make any sense. This is dumb. And no one listened to them, or that person just kept their mouth shut. I appreciate that a lot. There's a, there's definitely a, a I would say, a Japanese flair for the, uh, for the absurd that goes through Resident Evil... Sorry, I had a little flake on my lip. There's actually a lot of that stuff in 7 Remake, too. That game is bonkers sometimes. One of the things I really appreciate is that of all the, like, corny, campy shit that was in 7, they leaned into that stuff real hard. They could have been a coward and backed off and tried to make it serious, but they did not. They have my respect for that. Oh, yeah. The animated movies? Was it, uh... Uh, what was it called? It's not Regeneration, I don't think. But yeah, the one where Leon and, like, that army dude are fucking doing Dark Souls rolls around each other while they're shooting at each other's feet and just da 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 It's incredible. You okay? Or the, like, hallway sequence with Chris and Leon, I think is super, super good. Vendetta, that's it. Oh, that movie's amazing. Carlos, no! Oh, okay. That was actually pretty sick. Come on. Let's get out of here. There's so many animated RE movies and they're all fun as shit. Yeah. You get to see Rebecca's a full-on doctor. She finally aged a little bit. You've seen the mod that replaces Carlos with Dante? <gasps> no. No. Carlos, yeah. I know we didn't get off to a great start. It is interesting how moddable these games are. You saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Is there one? Is the chat is there a mod that replaces nemesis with ricardo oh yeah shirtless carlos is nice well, what there's a nude mod the same day yeah yeah and you'll be safe could you imagine yes i'm imagining it right now what about you? Huh. from the sound of it I mean, there was one for Mr. X that put him in a Speedo, but it didn't turn him full into Ricardo. Now there be new orders. Resident Evil might be the only multimedia franchise where the video game are the part that I'm taking most seriously. Maybe. I mean, it's hard to take the game super seriously sometimes. Uh, but you're right, the movies, the movies definitely lose their mind after a little bit. Wait, it exists? There's a full Ricardo Mr. X? What? Okay, never mind. Thomas the Tank Engine one was great. Especially since it would it would play the music. That's what really cinched it together. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city. Guys, I'm gonna find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right, you're going ahead. I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. <laughs> okay. You'll need to yeah. find this scientist. Bad box art, Mega Man. Research could save us There's a lot of uh, 
A lot of internal references to Capcom shit. You see? In this game. The only life that matters is your own. Got that look. Good luck. That, that go get fucked look. Let's I appreciate go. the video games to the point now where you can read somebody's face. That was not a thing. Jill is a solid character. They did her pretty right in this game so far. I appreciate that. You don't really think it Without Carlos, I'm car lost. <laughs> I have done good Does Jill have a skin or she just looks like new Lara Croft? I think she just looks like that because she has short she has short hair and dirt on her face. I don't know that she looks something else. super super similar to Lara. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? Oh, the blue tank top. The double tank. Yeah, that's a good point. What was that? Oh. Oh, right. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just know they're gone. Yep. That's, yeah, okay. I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about that. And kind of like the cargo pants. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after me. <laughs> Nikolai! Man. Uh, I didn't... I did not get the alternate outfits because I did not pre-order. Oh, my Shit, bird! Yeah! Solid line. Solid one-liner. He's okay. The alternate outfits aren't great. Uh, they're just okay. Oh! Side story. Oh, it's been a while. That has got to be Lance Reddick, right? They're the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nope. Nah, I mean, she's not like that. No, she's not like that. He's got the glasses and everything. Okay, now that I see him closer, it's not quite that, but... It super looks like him, especially if he's like across the room. Oh, his name is Tyrell. Okay. Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. He's the hacker man. Huh? <gasps> you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Are they gonna reuse assets from RE2? Boy, man, they had to they had to turn this game around quick. No wonder it took a year. Yeah, leading up to this game coming out, I was like, it has it just hasn't been long enough. There's no way. Brad, stop! T. Brad! Oh, Not you too! Sorry. Sorry! This is the same as RE3? <laughs> so RE3 is the one, um, the one Resident Evil I've never played. I have played and beaten every other Resident Evil, including all the remakes, but for some reason this- Oh wait, no, I take that back. I never finished Code Veronica. I got this fuck. I played it, but I never finished it. Come get some! Brad! Jesus. Nice photo. These stars. That could be useful. My AR sucks. Uh, three smell prequel to two. Ties and Lance, he's Hannibal Burris. Are you wait. Back out and go downstairs? Okay. Is that real? That's not real, is it? The Hannibal Burris thing, I mean. <laughs> Brad has a cannon thick skull. Hey, there's a safe room in here. Ah! Sorry, poster boy. Oh, poor Brad. We all remember Brad. Department in chaos after spread of infection. Multiple citizens taking refuge here are infected. All files related to you successfully disposed of. Awaiting further orders. 
communications interceptor from S Hospital on Star's private communications line. Presumed to be evac request from B. Possibly he will flee the hospital and come here. Request UCB or UBCS dispatch. And we'll evacuate with their assistance. Requested evac has not yet arrived. This position is becoming untenable. I remained here with the condition my safety would be guaranteed. If I am left to die here, I will distribute proof of collusion and corruption between you and RC's civic leaders. You have one hour to deliver a response. I wonder if that stands for Umbrella couldn't Raccoon City. Jeez. Hard to say. Somebody didn't have time to put his blues on. What was that? Wait, no, Leon hasn't even made it to Raccoon City yet. Huh. Ah, there's a sweet, sweet item. Come to Carlos. Oh, wait. Man, I miss shit that's right in front of my face in this game. Okay. Items got, items got. Door unopened. Okay. It's Carlos O'Clocos. They flip the OGR3 pretty quick. Eh. It doesn't surprise me the game's pretty short. But at the same time, um. I mean, Resident Evil 2 and 3 were one year apart themselves, weren't they? So. I guess. I guess history's repeating itself in more ways than one. <sighs> what are Umbrella's motives for their zombie projects? To sell them. They are a pharmaceutical company, after all. And if they enter bioweapons, then they can sell that shit to, uh. to entire countries. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the Star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Oh, that's right. Multiplayer. Yeah. Resistance is part of RE3. I keep... I always thought it was going to be a separate project, so that, you know, I they deserve a lot of credit for that. Office. Remember. I haven't tried it out yet. access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out. Umbrella is the office. shittiest company in history. They fuck up constantly. It's a metaphor for politicians. Mm, hey, maybe. Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. I always my I always read it as though there's nothing in this box. How dare you? Um. This is just my take. It's not... I haven't borne it out. I haven't read any interviews or anything like that. So I don't know how accurate it is. But I always felt that, like, Resident Evil was... The Japanese... Was... was It was American B-grade horror through a Japanese lens. So... In America, we have the Wolfman. You know, we have... We have... Uh, cre There's a dash of Godzilla in there, too, I think. Of, like, making creatures huge through genetic engineering. Or through... Through the wonders of science, gone gone haywire. Area looks clear. Uh, so Resident Evil One is stacked to the gills with like a bunch of '50s monsters, basically giant alligators, giant spiders, giant snakes. I guess the alligator was two. Anyway, um, in addition to sort of the the kind of campiness of the storyline, that uh, there's a secret company behind it all. So if I combine all those things, and especially kind of throwing back to, to some older 50s Japanese horror. One of the, the underpinnings of, of Umbrella being behind it is like supposed to be a slight moral lesson about letting capitalism or greed run away from you. Of not respecting the earth or respecting science or chemistry or just, just wantonly playing with things that maybe you shouldn't be playing with. The airplane-sized demon fish from 4. Oh yeah, we had to like throw... Throw spikes at it. To be fair, now that is, yeah, hubris, right? That's that's a very loose thing. You know, you could you could say to some degree that all horror deals with hubris on some level. Uh, of not, not knowing or respecting something you're messing with. Got it. Boop the card. Take the item. We will put 16 bullets inside this one case and leave it in the lobby. Why? Because I'm crazy. Actually, I think I think the canon explanation is again umbrella or something. Have you tried the first Pyroside Eve before? I have, a long time ago. Um, 
I missed the movie vibes. I think they're still here. They're still present in modern Resident Evils. I would say the remakes in seven probably take themselves a lot more seriously, but there's still there's still some camp in there, I think. They're still twitching. Ooh. Reused assets time. <laughs> But you're a different character now. Everything's different. Ah, here we go. So wait. Jeez. Whoop. Let's call this show everything got placed in RE2. Yeah. It's, uh, if you're going to reuse assets, um, I guess this is, this is a clever way to do it. To show everything getting set up that you see in the previous game. Vincenko was just wondering about that. There's a precision. Oh, I guess I just wasn't, I swear to God I was waiting before. I don't know why it wasn't zeroing out like that before. <laughs> Moving around doesn't do it. It just takes forever. Who loves short shorts? She loves short shorts. What? Yeah. The shot impacts are really good. The gun sound effects are really solid. Just the whole metagame of like... Big warm RPD welcome. Waiting for a waiting for like a, a shot to zoom in for for more crit chance or something like that. Reminds me a lot of uh, of a lot of like Fatal Frame vibes. You'd suffer nightmare mode. Eh? This is nightmare mode. He has a counter instead of a dodge. Okay, so when they come in, if you elbow them. All right. How much longer we got in the stream? My taskbar is gone. So I don't even know what time it is. Another hour or so. I gotta... Oh. So this this is the eternal problem, you guys. This is the eternal problem. I need to get in work on my, my goddamn Animal Crossing Island, but I stream all the time, and then when I when I cut the stream, the Nook's Cranny is closed! And I take a 20% hit to all my bells! It's just... It's a, it's a rough time. It's a rough, rough time. Um... I know what I need to do is like just stack them all up outside. Stream Animal Crossing. Then I'm just going to be streaming all night. I got to go spend some time with Steph. I should stream Animal Crossing though. I absolutely should. Hardcore is the third hardest. Nightmare second and unlocks after you beat Hardcore. And then Inferno is the hardest and unlocks after you beat Nightmare. Okay. Well, at least I got I got reasons to replay the game a couple times. Uh, I'm guessing each one just... Yeah. You copy? Lowers the ammo you get, raises the damage you take. Something nasty. Stream as you both play. Yeah, I just that's that's the actual correct answer. I just need to get Steph uh, need to get Steph streaming. Insomniac, hey man, two whole years, huh? Good to see you. Sorry for not coming around. We have to mod Bruce's chat, do homework. Don't want to be spoiled on Eternal. That's okay, Austin. No worries, bud. You, you do you. You ain't got to apologize for watching what you want to watch or spending time how you want to spend it. This ain't no contest. Don't hurt my feelings none. Whoa. I was wondering if he was going to get up. He got up. All right, all right, all right. Shit. Uh, I could flash grenade, but I've already... Okay, now we're in, now we're in a problem. Hey, I hit space. Come on. I'm only in caution. All right. Oh. Yeah, maybe backing into a dead end hallway was not the most tactical move. Jesus.
Oh, cessation? Yeah, the uh, about the the characters being bitten in game and and not cannon being infected. Uh, my understanding, and it, this seems to hold water with the rest of the Resident Evil series, is that um, unless they are bitten in a cutscene, it's not a cannon bite, and it's just them just generally taking battle damage or whatever. So that's the idea. That essentially the gameplay part of it doesn't doesn't correlate to canon plot bo moments uh, is, I, is the idea also dr fullhouse yes they have they there is there is stuff in resident evil suggesting that some some people are just naturally immune they never go out and say that like the playable characters are all immune but that is certainly implied shit locked i can't take all those items they have to be there for leon What's that fancy word? Ludo narrative dissonance. Have you tried using Carlos's bash ability on enemies? Uh, not yet, but I should experiment with that, huh? Yeah, this game is interesting. Like it's it definitely already getting to the point where it's pretty clearly linear. Like there's there's no I guess aside from the town at the very beginning. There's not a whole lot of moments where you can, like, explore and try to figure out where to go. Let's just go forward. I don't mind that, though. Name Rodney Gray. Occupation unemployed. Former electrician. Charges. Unlawful creation and our possession of explosives. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously... Suspiciously? At 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Sus suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket. Leading to arrest on charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. So sus suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once more questioning, re once questioning resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand the corpse's attack from the shadows? A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. I gotta blow it up, or you'll get, m or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended, and a sedative administered. Note: Due to suspect's unstable psych psychiatric condition, boy, a lot of words that I'm just falling over right now. Um, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect... That is a really hard word to say. Suspect. Suspects. That's hard to hit that most plosives condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residents appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Did your microphone, uh, Trey, no, my microphone cable has not moved. Um, do you hear buzzing again? Is it buzzy? I can move it around. Or was it only in your mind? Y'all hear more buzzing? Hmm. Okay, well, I'll keep going then. Yeah, before I just had a... You move something and it's fine now? Yeah, yeah. I had all my uh, cables bundled up on the floor next to all my power before, and I think it was causing some interference. Ah. What show is on in the background? I don't know. Might be snapped. It's a pretty likely, pretty likely case. Welcome, Leon! Oh. Have you seen the new game from Platinum? No. When did they, did they show that? When did that happen? Wait. This guy. Come on, dude. Okay. 
In December? What? Ooh. Wait, Babylon's Fall. Is that the, like, next-gen game? That looked kind of free-to-play? The, like, quote-unquote first PS5 footage ever kind of thing? Is that what that was? No, the buzzing might also be in the game. Yeah, there's, like, buzzy lights. They're not that loud, though, so if you're hearing them, hmm. And that was Godfall. Never mind. Shoot, I gotta look that up. I don't remember that. Hey, Mr. Gravy. Whoa! Ah! Shit. I, it's, it's not a dodge. It's not a dodge. All right. Let me let me let me test out. Let me test this out here. What? All right. Well, I just got chomped. I I I spaced into him. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay. Just straight up, straight arm punch them. All right, interesting. I'm like, that Carlos, pretty cool. I'm shooting cops. Yeah, a little bit. Whatever, dude, your umbrella. But he's one of the good ones. More lore. Heat resistant three number combination safe moved from star's office to west office. Combos left nine, right fifteen, left seven. Alright. Nine fifteen seven. Nine fifteen seven. Easy enough. Nine fifteen seven. Is there an ultra nightmare mode for RE3? Kind of. It's like it's finishing with a certain rank. Because I'm pretty sure if you if you die, you just won't get certain ranks, thus requiring a restart. Just got two reds. All right. <laughs> and time. I'm back. I went two rooms away to find the combo, and now I'm back. Hey, Murray. <laughs> Oh, Inferno S, yeah. My roommate told me the Ricardo mod for Mr. X moved the hitbox from his head to his junk. Hell yes! Best loot in the game, yeah. I feel like in any game, anything that expands your inventory is, is always the most delightful. I mean, there's, there's like whole studies of psychology around that aspect of game design. About... The restrictions you put on the player, and then the pace, and, and the rate, and the manner in which you re you remove them. There's one thing. There's one thing gamers crave. If cameras killed those things, I'd be set. <laughs> what? You have guns. Oh, whatever. Um. There's one thing gamers crave. It's uh. Restrictions being lifted, or abilities being added. Carlos, Metroidvania is like based on it. Ahead. Copy that. Did someone say G Fuel? Featuring a 10% off using code SIRLAR at gfuel.com. Or using the G Fuel command. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please! While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the mm, safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you, since I know you have the uh, safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I watched the wound as best I, I could, but I feel worse and worse. Hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about the $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, you just gotta go over the wall. Well, I'm gonna open that locker. 
Better not. Carlos! How dare you? Like they already gave me the they gave me the code for this. Do you happen to know where the batteries are placed? No. But I don't think it'll be hard to find out. This game hasn't exactly been really mysterious so far. Oh, that's a you're the one who blows open the hole in this wall? Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explodey way. And do I just shoot it? Yeah, save the locker scare for Leon. Funny story about G Fuel, I use Sir code for the Nemesis flavor and the demon flavor after today's stream. Oh boy! That is some co-marketing on point. Thank you, Raroni. Uh, full disclosure, I am sponsored by G Fuel. So they are paying me to tell you this right now. Don't let it ever be said Gamergate didn't do anything. Ethics. It's real, and it's here. Capcom's not paying me to play this, though. I had to buy it. Uh, I can't remember what the code for the other one was. Oh, they're not going to let me... Bap. Nah. Oh, same as code 2, DCM. Alright, fine. I would, I would grumble about... About my immersion getting ruined, but whatever. It's just bullets. This ain't no inferno. Don't matter. Hey, Blossom Blacko. Watch your bed as I wake up. I don't need to kill you, dude. I'm never coming back here. That's a big detour to go back up here. Yeah. For like 20 bullets, that'd be sad. Hope you all good. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Hope you're doing good as well. Ah, yeah. All right. All right. That's not going to be very useful here. I have a flash grenade. Can we not use that? We're not going to use that. We're just going to get hit. All right. 99. Yeah, you tell him. We don't have to blow up the C4? Yeah, I gotta get the batteries from the safety deposit room. Y'all aren't, aren't paying attention here. You can punch the liquors if you time it well. Really? Even if they hit you with ranged? Oh, I see green herb. Yeah, I mean, the assault rifle doesn't hit very hard, but if it did, it would be overpowered, you know? Gotta be, there's gotta be a little bit of spice to it. Really? You're just gonna let me... There's no way they're gonna let me take all these items, are they? Keep forgetting that's not dodge. Wait, if I take all these sweet, sweet items, what's Leon gonna gonna use? How's the game? I heard it's really short. That may be the case, but um, I've been really enjoying it so far. Oh, okay. So let's see. 104, 106, 109. Alrighty. Can they let you dial them all? You get shit. Yeah, screw Leon. <laughs> or Claire. Yeah, they didn't even put the same stuff in the lockers. Sad. I feel like people would be upset if they couldn't get all the things in the lockers. They. I feel like game developers still do try to account for the fact that somebody might play 3 and not have played 2. So they'd be confused why there'd be items in lockers you just can never get. <sighs> Tell him, Carlos. C batteries? C? What do you mean C? That's definitely a D. 100% D battery. Very, very rectangular. Super boxy. 300% D, D battery. 
Oh, Coco 9005. Thank you for the sub. Sorry, I didn't see that a second ago. Bone 177. Thank you for the prime sub. More like more like D's nuts. Ah! I've never looked at D cell battery. Clearly I haven't lived. Animal Crossing is crack? Yeah. Yeah. You know it. I can't wait to I can't wait to to fucking go go blast an eight ball after uh after stream. Where's the other guy? Why isn't he helping? He is! What's the name Tyrell? He's uh he's hacking. He's opened doors for me. Oh, yeah, big T. Big man T. Whoop. And look at that. Y'all, y'all out here talking shit about Ty Terrell. And there he is, being a solid, a solid bro. I don't understand why I thought I needed to go through this hole in the first place. Um, ow. Oh, oh. Take a number. Shit. Okay, that's a lot. What? What? Ah! Can't see. Throw it! Come on. Shit. That's what we needed. Hi. Fuck. Shit. They're still there. They're still there. They are still there. Okay, I think I got him. Back there? No? Okay. Yeah. We do our core, no problem. This game ain't shit. <laughs> Woo! Ow. Ow. Yeah, there's some bullets and some, uh,. I don't know if there's any uh, healing items up there. That'd be that'd be sick. Yeah, the Anonymar, there's animations at half frequency, a certain distance away from the player is a a rendering trick to uh, to save some cycles. It's a performance thing. I think there are mods that will restore uh, full full. Uh, Full frame rate animations? Yeah, level of detail stuff. Mm -hmm. That's a trade off with the number of enemies you can have on screen. I mean, there are an impressive number of zombies sometimes in these fights. I mean, it's not like Dead Rising stuff, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, you have to give me a healing item because I'm hurt. Uh, is there a box? Because I still have a red herb in the storage box, but maybe I shouldn't press my luck. I had a grenade this whole time. I had an honest-to-god grenade. Ugh, that hurts. That does not feel good. Ah! Ah. Is that everything? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. Now I still have a grenade. That is an excellent point. I don't know. I don't know waffle. I, I didn't know that I, <laughs> I didn't know I had the grenade. That's okay. Yeah, it's I guess. Um, and when the when the liquor jumped on me, it didn't give me the prompt to use it. Doctor, I guess you can't do that with Carlos. Oh, thank God! Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. This was a long time ago, but God, sand worship. By Thank you for your tip. Kind of I don't know if you're still in chat. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Oh. Negative. RPD's overrun too. Oh, there are no safety items in RE3? Okay. It out. Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one. Okay, I kind I do kind of see Hannibal Burris now. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Hack it, my man. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. I would, I would dearly love to do that, thank you. Yeah. This will take some time. Maybe I don't know. Hold your dick in your hand. Maybe do that over here so so I can I can see it if you want. It's, it's, it's normal. It's normal, dude. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing to do. So you you might as well, you know. All right. A bit of a waste of a first aid, but oh, there's a chest right there. All right, I'm taking this. I'm taking this with me. There's more healing. It's another red herb! Okay. I could put one of these red herbs back then. Oh, the... Picture's still in Wesker's desk? Uh... Wait, is somebody building gun models? Kind of guy who says he wants to hold my dick while I pee, unironically. I don't remember which one is... Which one is Wesker's desk? See the ballin', ballin' motherfucker that's got the printer? Yeah, what's up? Oh, yeah, to develop film. Ah. Uh, Derailed. That's right, okay. Is anyone hurt? Jill? What? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Jitka, you got control? You missed Laura in the main office to your right? Uh-oh. Well, what's that? Is that- is that the whole Carlos section? I didn't pick up everything. That hallway was still red. Okay, there's more. All right. Am I the only one who made it? No. No. This happens to be this big ass wheel cranked safety vault door on the side of a subway. Whatever. Resident Evil. Resident Evil rules. Carlos, come in. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Got some acid rounds? Me thinks I'll be fighting something that. Oh, mine rounds. What? Brr. Brr. Oh, new weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to be. <laughs> guaranteed. Guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D. They will light fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. God, this fucking this lore. 
They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them into anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. A sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path and you got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on these giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Thanks, Sarge. There's a man who does not believe in uh, toxic masculinity. He, uh, there's a man who says triggered unironically and often. Okay, acid rounds. Hoorah, <laughs> yeah. You hope that dig is hard. Oops! That's not, that's flame. Well, now I have three million <laughs> different kinds of ammo in my inventory, great. Yeah, he like continually, repeatedly, and uncomfortably keeps re referring to the hardness of your dick. How's your dick? Hey, son. How's your dick? You hard dicking today? That's what I like to hear. Lord written by Duke Nukem. <laughs> ah, God bless Duke Nukem. Video game savior. I think after Duke Nukem Forever, we deserve a Duke Nukem where, like... I'm trying to think. I mean, there was a game called... There was a game that no one played called Matt Hazard, which was essentially trying to be a self-aware Duke Nukem game. And I actually really liked it for that, but... It was actually voiced by Will Arnett, too, which was pretty incredible. Uh... But, I think we... We, the gamers, deserve a self-aware Duke Nukem game. Where Duke Nukem goes around trying to be Duke Nukem, and everyone else just cannot stand him. I think we deserve that. Where he's, like, as pathetic as he actually is. And he's, like, he's got a gut. And he always has, like, a, a, a light beer in one hand. And he keeps making just really unwarranted sexual comments about everything. I actually, Sponge Blake, I actually liked Duke Nukem Forever. Because it was a Duke Nukem game. I feel like everybody that fondly remembers Duke Nukem maybe didn't... Hasn't played it super recently. I guess you can't really argue with, like, the tech of the build engine and everything that Duke Nukem 3D did, but... As a character... Ugh. Oh, you actually played it, Darth Taco? I think you're the only other person I know that has even heard of that game. Duke Nukem Forever 2? Let's try again. I like how Duke 3D played, but the character didn't age well. Because that was barely a character. All of his one-liners came from other movies! He wasn't cool! Oh, Shadow Warrior 2 is the perfect version of Duke Nukem stereotype? The Shadow Warrior remake was actually way better than it had any right to be. Um, I feel like that was the perfect brush-up of a 90s protagonist named Lo Wang out of, out of everything. Ha ha ha. I got all the achievements. It was bashing on every game ever. Yeah, that was fun. <sighs> Duke Nukem Forever was the Doom Eternal would... What Doom Eternal would be if it was terrible in every way. Pretty solid. I haven't played two. Ah, Shadow Warrior 2... Tried to go down the, like, procedurally generated looter shooter route. And I guess I kind of get it. I kind of get what they were going for, but... I don't know. It wasn't as good as the first game. And that... Is a good lesson about the power of linearity over... Non-linearity? I don't know. We need sad dad Nukem. 100% straight up insufferable divorce dad drunk bullshit as everyone around him hates him. I agree. I'll see you, Nzuka. Thank you for the cheer. Uh, yeah, go game yourself. I'm, I'm gonna probably play to the next save point, and then I'll, I'll probably call it there. The OG Shadow Warrior games were free on GOG a while back. Not sure if they still are. I might play, but Jesus fucking Christ, the casual racism. Yeah, they're just splitting. Shadow Warrior is fascinating to me because it came from... There was this minute in the late 90s when white dudes in America suddenly discovered anime. And that's like... That's what Shadow Warrior is. That's what, like, Shogo Mobile Armor Division is. And that's also kind of the window in which Final Fantasy broke out. Final Fantasy VII came from that window in the late 90s when white dudes discovered anime. 
And I was one of them, so I was part of the wave. Uh, but yeah, like late 90s cyberpunk slash West, West meets East it was a whole vibe for, for a minute. And I feel like it is, it is starting to roll around again. Um, 7 Remake, notwithstanding. But um, I mean, cyberpunk is coming out later this year. Cyberpunk as a whole thing was very much part of the mid to late 90s too. So it's really fascinating to see all this stuff roll around again. Um, it does, like all culture does, it kind of operates in cycles. You grow up in a thing and then you get old enough to find that thing nostalgic. And especially the people that grew up in that period then start creating games and, and art of their own. But anime, yeah, definitely definitely started striding into mainstream then. That's when Toonami kind of started. Um, that's when people grew up with it. Instead of discovering it older and being like... <gasps> Dick Nickham Forever was mid-tier. Uh, deserves a better reboot with less glitchiness that doesn't provoke motion sickness on a lot of people. Complained of the game at the time. Ah, I didn't know that. I can see that being a problem, yeah. Too bad the current state of anime is more about quantity than quality. I mean, isn't that isn't that true of all media right now? What you're watching right now is a prime example of quantity over quality. This is just some dude rambling into a camera while playing a video game. This is not curated content by any degree. Uh, St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Super Mario Eternal just Super Mario Maker? I wish... I wish I were good at Super Mario Maker. What an amazing game. You underestimate how good your chat is? That's true. I, I... Yeah. I do continually do that. I hope you guys don't take it personally. I discount the value of good community. Ooh. Hello. Wow, I am... Boy. I guess after taking a few hits, the game decided that I, uh, I needed to get loaded down with healing items, so... Thank you, Resident Evil. <sighs> Didn't I made so much fucking bank off that game? They should just give everyone a level maker? I mean, the, the power of... Oh, he's, he's not looking too good. The power of Mario Maker was in the the craft of its tool set, not just the fact that they made a tool set. Bitch can't even swim. <laughs> Got him. Um, kind of like The Sims. Uh, yeah, what's up? It just had such a good tool make... set and interface. Train derailed. Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Oh, if the game gives you items, you know what that means. No. Oh. Everybody. Good. Good point. Nikolai left us to die. Bitch can't Wait, swim. What? what the fuck? Ooh! I'm wearing his beach attire. How is he bigger? Fuck. Oh, I'm not playing the video game yet, never mind. Am I playing? When are you gonna make me hit a button? He swallowed all the water. Expected RE4 Salamander. Like the the knife fight. It's got a little loincloth. That's disappointing. I wanna see your big nemesis dick. Show me your dick. Let's see that dick nemesis. Oh. Where's that penis? Does like
way. They want to make sure you know where they are, huh? Very observant. God damn it. I mean, that's a pretty cool set piece. I guess I'm supposed to shoot him. That hurt me? Not really, no. Okay, well that's all of that ammo. Yeah, I don't have a pistol. Yeah. Can you put in gun? No. Okay, well. I guess I'll have to wait until I take some damage. There is ammo in the van, you're right. Oh, I see what they want you to do now. Alright, it adds up. I get it. I understand. Okay, fine. Damn it! <laughs> ah, interesting problem to have. Alright, well, now I can heal. <laughs> Really? I didn't have two green herbs. Did I? I thought I had one green herb. My bad. Come on! Find the greens. Well, I don't have them anymore, so. Did I really have two? I swear I only had one. Oh, okay. Those open up later. You have to do enough damage, or is that is a different car? Ah! What? He just bowls you over. All right. I just wanted to make sure I had enough inventory space. This is nice of him, actually. Two? Alright, well, whatever. Whatever. Do your stupid run. All right. Uh. I'm gonna kill you. His plubis falls out when you uh, blow him up, I guess. Oh, great. Well, I'm dead. Maybe not. What is, what is going on? Okay. Uh, let me... Can I, yeah, let me reload this real quick.
forget, you can't dodge if you're reloading, I don't think. Whoa! have to outlast him and wait for him to go run again. There he goes. Uh, okay. This music is pretty cool. Ow! That was fast. Uh, eh. Eh. Did a little twirl? God damn it. It's tough to, to decide when you can change ammo type, because man, you are locked into that animation if you start it. goes. I'll get you next time. I'm gonna guess he, like, doesn't circle as much after you... No, he's sure... He sure does. Rawr. Right? Let's do this. I shot him and he fell over. Therefore, he must be dead. Come on, you gotta crap out on me now? God damn it. Yeah, this game needs way more late 90s slang. I'm trying to think, what did people say in 2000? Ugh. I don't even want to think about it. 2000 is a lost era of pop culture. Everything was bad. Cool car, though. Double day. Casada? What the heck is that? Batam Almond? Angier Fig? Delicious. Wicked? Yeah, that's true. Some people said that. Darn, drat. People, people you... I know something that was thoroughly ubiquitous that can stay in the past. People used gay to just mean lame. Like, ugh, that's so gay. I'm glad we kind of moved on from there. Now, what a difference 20 years makes. Now if something's gay, that means it's awesome. Crud. Righteous, radical, totally. I think a lot of that stuff was like mid-90s, but I could be wrong about that. Wild boss. Tubular. Yeah, all that stuff is like kind of mid-90s surfer slang. I don't know that that was so much like 2000s, late 90s epic. Uh, people said Uber a lot. I remember that. I'm trying to remember, man. Jammin'. Dillweed. Yeah. That's true. Dude, booyah, yeah, booyah was a lot. Was that? Was that? Ugh. I, ugh, gave me, gave me chills just saying that. Anything from rocket power? Oh, like saying like a lot. Bomb, bitchin', bitchin', it was extremely two thousand. You are right about that. Sick. Yeah, just what <laughs> early. Early South Park, whatever Cartman says. Shit is tight. That's true. Casually throwing around a hard R. Well, not that, but... Oh. You got Nemesos. Sick in the 90s? Yeah. Oh, why is he just there? I guess Nemesis is programmed to not attack him. You've done me a big thing. Miss. The RE engine stubble tech is out of control. Calling people yo? Bling? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's like... That was also, I guess, started... <laughs> it was white people, like, slowly figuring out black culture may not be a complete waste of time. <laughs> and kind of appropriating it. Yeah, saying bling. Do you copy? Ugh. What's going on? 
pimp, yeah. Pimp is a verb. Pimping out of things. Home skillet, calling your friends homie. Fly was the late 90s. Yeah, okay, you guys have done it. It's not the history of white people. You're right, but like, they actually found out that they could make money off of it. So like, hyphy culture, pit my ride, etc. Like, I, the early 90s and the mid 90s did have some breakout, like R&B singles hitting the top 40. But in like the late 90s and early 2000s, it broke out in such a big way. Um, Heller, fat, oh yeah, PH. Took him half a day to find her. Uh, series of tubes, oh god, early internet is bad, bad, bad. When everybody was just quoting all your base. Find it, Jill. How much longer are you gonna be streaming? Not too much longer right now. I'm, I'm gonna. The vaccine. Next save point, I think I'm gonna. I'll hang it up. Okay. Who let the dogs out? Classic R and B. <laughs> We're memory holing really hard right now. Yeah. Uh, online user names with the X's and AZN in them. Crunk. That's it. Dunder. Yes. Absolutely crunk. I think. Wearing no fear shirts. Yeah. Massimos. Dude, that's some serious bling. Got a dip, home slice, crashy on the next side. Oh. When do we get jokes about flip phones and nostalgic 2000s? It, we're basically there, Cat Monarchy. People are making flip phones again. Just for the uh, X everything, yeah. I was huge into Southern rap. I mean, I grew up in Dallas, which means I should have been more into the Houston scene than I was. But, uh, unfortunately, oh, trippin', yeah. Yes, you trippin'. God, oh no. No. Yeah, no, it, it's it's sad. The whole Houston music scene kind of came and went, passed me by. I was, uh, I was too white bread. Um, I slowly, I slowly weaned myself off of that. But yeah. Why, you, why did you do that? To make you feel bad, because I felt bad. You have to feel bad, too. <laughs> what part of Dallas? Um, North Dallas, because, you know, white. Um, so I grew up in Azel, um, which is a, a was much smaller than it is now. It's a super tiny town, about 45 minutes to an hour and a half away from Dallas, depending on... You were one in 2000? Okay. Well, when you were one, things were bad. Things were very bad out here. It's only gotten better. But uh, I, went to, I went to college at UTD, which is in Richardson. And then lived and worked in the Richardson Plano area for a long time. Oh, you still live in Dallas? It's a nice place. There's some there's some good spots. Um, I can't lie. I think I like LA better, but yeah, Dallas is all right. I go back to visit my parents sometimes. And there's some restaurants and bars I try to make sure I hit. Quintonius, you've nailed it. Yes, putting not well, af putting not after the end of the thing or like psych. That was kind of already played out in the late in the 2000s, I think. I think that's how, that's what lame people did. You should listen to Pimp C. Yeah? At least better for rich folks. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, but yeah, you have to have a little bit of, you have to have a little bit of money to have a good time in LA. If, because before, I mean, when I moved out here the first time, and I, I, I'm repeating myself because I've talked about this on stream a lot, but I was making like 35K a year. It was bad. I didn't have money to do anything. Uh, taking the bus everywhere. Um, you know, you, you can't go to nice bars. You can't go to nice restaurants. So much in LA is like, there's stuff to do if you're just taking public transit and like going to museums and stuff. But uh, a lot of the beauty of the city is kind of behind um, having having a little bit of disposable income. You took the dart in the 90s? Yeah. Um, I was talking about LA, but I took dart in, in Dallas too. Um, it's not that bad. I just got a lot of reading done. I've never had a problem with public transit, but again, also... White dude. Didn't people start saying duh to thing in the, things in the 2000s? Yeah, I think they did. Dart's really not that bad. Um, Green Day, yeah, okay. Y'all are, uh, <laughs> I've, I've kicked you guys off on a nostalgia trip now. Uh, holla, okay, yeah. Being a, a holla back girl. Gwen Stefani uh, educated us on that. Look at the shading on those muscles though. Damn, Carlos. All right, I gotta I gotta hit Nook's cranny before they shut down. Got about an hour. I can do this. All right, thank you guys for watching. Very much appreciate it. Uh, <clears throat> I will 
find somebody to raid. So uh, I'll be back streaming tomorrow. Um, pro oh wait, I think tomorrow is more Witcher Three. Yeah, I gotta make sure I keep keep on that game. So yes, tomorrow's Witcher Day. Witcher Day all day, and I I cleared out all of my contracts, so there might actually be story content tomorrow. How exciting! <laughs> C uh, CSF, thank you so much for the Prime sub. And uh, all you guys, thank you for your time, uh, your subs, your cheers, whatever it is. Uh, hanging out in chat, that's good too. Appreciate, appreciate the company, always do. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, so hopefully you'll join me then, and I will see you later. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good night.